So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell Danes, always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me, the eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head! There's nothing there, there's nothing there, there's nothing there! Could you- Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up! You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're- Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. <laughs> um... Oh no, it's a miracle. He has the same awkward smile. I guess we're destined to be ghost buddy partners. Also, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ruby Raider and we're playing Blackwall Legacy again. You... can't be real. You're just a stress-induced hallucination. <laughs> yeah, sure. Think about your aunt and grandmother and say that again. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Oh, it was the park, I'm pretty sure. You mean, the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap, you should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Oh boy, this is fun. There's obviously like a million questions and I hope we'll get answers for them as the game progresses. Although there are other games in the series, so I guess we'll find out about that one. I really like that we have something to work on right away to try and solve. It's a really good way of trying to introduce this world and all these rules really quickly. And I'm really excited to get into the actual puzzling and to see a bit more of what this adventure game has to offer as well. And I also think Rose's reactions are really realistic. It's good, really good writing, good acting. It's, it's a great game. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt? And grandmother. Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Oh, that's good, running through all the options. I like that. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Oh boy. 
Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Be firm, be clear, be charming. I don't think any of those sound good, but I'm also not a professional ghost wrangler. He doesn't seem to have much modern era game here, so that's probably not helping. I want you to listen to me, girly. Your tears won't win any sympathy from me. So tell me what the story is so we can both get out of here. Not super wild about all these answers, but he's from the 20s or the 1930s, I think, so... I don't know. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. It definitely sounds to me like there's more to this one. Like there's some kind of conspiracy behind what's happened or some other person that manipulated her into doing this. I'm curious if it'll like tie into the main story or is it just like a small contained little adventure? Try and concentrate. Explain everything so we can help you. Help. Help. He wants me to help him, but I want to help them. Don't they know that? Well, who? Can't, can't. We run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He poisoned, he poisoned us. us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Way, like all the others. I haven't mentioned yet, but I have played a couple of other Wedged Eye games. Most recently, Unavowed, which I really, really, really recommend. It's apparently also set in the same world as this one. But yeah, some of the adventures in that are all interconnected and some of them are just standalones. So I don't know, I'll be curious to see if this is tied in or if it's a quickly solved little mystery. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're, you're him. He's the you're only the one who won't go, go away. away. Who? HIM! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. What an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. 
great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? Then his head again. I love the writing. This is like a normal human would react. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. I think we'll go with an incredulous response because that was my gut reaction There's too. More? Oh yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch. Unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. This is a really cool design for a crossing place, I suppose. It's a really cool idea to have like the idea of a medium be the channel is within their own mind. I'm really enjoying this world building. I think the pacing is really good and quick too. And yeah, again, I like that Rose is reacting quite realistically. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I mean, yeah, I dig. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Okay, well, first up, what about the park ghost? What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. Well, that makes sense, those are good rules. The ghost has to realize what's happening and then accept that they have to pass on or want to pass on. It's gonna be a consensual one, either way. You? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling, but I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. I guess it's understandable Joey's behaving the way he is if he's been doing this for a long time and can't pass on himself for some reason. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. 
But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, then. Cool. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Well, I mean, that's easier said than done. She's kind of a technical blob. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Oh, what? That's convenient. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. Oh boy, okay. So yeah, because this... That wasn't Joanne, because Joanne had the brunette brownie kind of hair. This is... Another girl entirely. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne. She's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. Her friend in the same photo? Oh boy, I guess we're gonna become like a little detective, journalist, spirit medium, ghost hunter. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character Sounds like there's a lot more to unpack here then. Okay, and how do we exercise them? How finally? do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Alright, well, let's get to work, I guess. Time to go ghost profiling. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Alright, so probably to everyone's delight, I had a little break here and I've actually figured out how to turn down the background music, which was one of the biggest issues so far in this game that I've been having is that they don't have any volume control for the voices versus the background. And sometimes you can't hear people talk. Obviously the Blackwell Legacy was made quite some time ago and they had a bunch of other games so I'm going to assume that's going to get better. This was their first game. But yeah, sorry about that, but thanks for sticking with me. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly check in with Joey. Joey, come here a sec. What do you want, sweetheart? Oh, so nice just to be able to hear him. Okay. Let me know if you want me to tweak the, the volume even more again now that I've figured out it's possible, which um, if you play this game, it's the F2 button, apparently. <laughs> that took a bit of digging to find out, but there we go. I'm just going to quickly go through these just to see if there's any extra information, but otherwise we're going to head on out. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk okay, about her. All right. What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. Yeah, look, okay, I think that's I've fair. Heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Let's get investigating. There's possibly a murder conspiracy going on here, so... You coming? Yeah, sure. What can we first do? We're going to try and find out about the photo. Maybe we could go to... We could go to the dorm, I guess? See if we can find out a bit more about stuff. Maybe the RA knows more. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Oh my god. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Uh, girls in the photo. Yeah, let's go. Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? 
I definitely recognized them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Dang, okay. Well, that doesn't really help. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yo, it's open. After you. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're going to check out the room. Damn, she was boring. Kelly's side looks awesome, though. What's that doll of? Oh, I can't look at it. Am I standing in her cloth? I'm okay. <laughs> She's covered her wall with rock posters. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. Or oh, they were sleeping together. No. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Oh my gosh, Rosa. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. <laughs> Don't look over here. Yoink. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let some stranger paw through her stuff. Pretty sure it's also, like, illegal. I'm surprised that the police haven't confiscated this, but anyway. Can I use your phone? You what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? Oh no. Okay. So this, this is going to be a puzzle at some point. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be a puzzle at some point. Just for people who are listening as well, I assume that most people who are watching have checked out adventure games before or had an interest in them. But if you don't, this is a really classic adventure game. They were really popular, especially in the 90s. Though they were sort of around for a long time. You can watch a lot of better YouTube videos about the history and stuff like that. But yeah, point and click adventure games are the sort of really classic sort of stuff where you can like look around at things, interact with them. Back in the day, you used to have to, have to type in what you wanted to do. Luckily, nowadays, most typical adventure games, you can just click or right click on stuff to see what happens. Um, but yeah, they're usually very heavily story driven. Back in the day, it was more just completing puzzles, which is a big part of it too. They were also quite notorious for having ridiculous puzzle combinations or ways to solve things. So I don't know how complex this game will be, but I have played a lot which are just utterly ridiculous. Like I think one of the most ridiculous ones is a game called Runaway. Which was kind of fun, it was very cheesy, but one of their puzzles was something like you had to do a bunch of steps to attain a jar of peanut butter, and that peanut butter you had to then use to smear outside like a wooden shack that you wanted to get into, and that would attract ants in the desert, and those ants would come and eat the entire shack. And that was how you got inside there, and it was to get something stupid like a screwdriver or something like that. It was just insane. So. That's the sort of stuff that tends to happen in adventure games. It's usually not as bad as that, although there's a lot of classic games which are pretty bad. So yeah, just seeing stuff like, oh, I can use a phone here, just makes me suspicious. Anyway, that's my little ramble there. If you want to know more about adventure games or the sorts of games I've played, let me know. And thanks for everyone who's been watching so far as well. I really appreciate it. Anyway, maybe the bulletin board, maybe she's got the names down there, like some kind of serial killer. Oh man, okay, yeah, they, they really were like... The future mayor of NYC, the future Mrs. Davenport, the future Miss America... Okay, well that makes me suspicious. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her... like that. Wow, well, she wasn't wrong there. Definitely normies. Well, at least they were ambitious, I guess. Uh, we'll see about the future Mrs. Davenport. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her... like that. Can we ask Kelly? Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. I mean, yeah, thank you. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. Alright. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Yeah, that's fair. Sorry the murder investigation by this not qualified person is probably taking up a bit of your time. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What? You're a detective now? Well, forget it. Yeah, that's fair. 
Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? The blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. I can relate to that. I need my alone time, especially if you're studying for the level that she's studying at. That's completely fair. Kelly, with you 100% of the way. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? Oh, dear. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Uh, who's Davenport? Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Okay, well, maybe Adrian knows Davenport at least. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I hope it's not Adrian's surname. He's kind of nerdy. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. That's fair. I don't think you two really move in the same social circles. What about you, Joe? Can I talk to you jo while you're hovering around? Shh! You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Look, that's fair. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Oh, okay. Can Joey go in then? Jo- Shh. Shall we go someplace where you don't look like a crazy homeless person? Okay, um, I guess, can I pop into Rose's apartment and talk to Joey there? Joey? What is it, dear? I wonder if the name Davenport has any significance. It could. You never know. What do you think of Kelly? That kid? I suppose once you get past all that metal, and the clothes and the hair and the nasty <laughs> makeup, not to mention the skin and the nasty attitude, maybe. Nah, forget it. <laughs> I think he's meant to be like 1930s or something. I'm really curious to find out more about him. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park. But well, that's all. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. That's not funny. You want a different answer, ask a different ghost. What do you think of Adrian? Adrian? Huh. <laughs> His parents must have really hated him to saddle him with that name. Joey. Still, to be sharing a floor with a bevy of young college ladies. Huh. Maybe he doesn't have it so bad. <laughs> okay, I I'll let it slide. That's kind of funny. So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look back on this as one of the normal ones. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's really get going. Really quickly, actually. Just check if I can, like, search something on the computer. Let's have a quick look. Davenport is too common a name. I need a first name, at least. Without a last name, the word... Without a last name... No, I can't find any information about Joanne. I was kind of hoping there'd be an option to, like, have him peep into the room, I don't know, spookily look at the notebook, but I guess that's you not coming? an option. Yeah, that's sure. fine. I guess we'll have a look at the park. Probably not much point talking to Nishanti at the moment, but I reckon a dog might come in handy since it's like a dog park mystery. Um, so there she is, as our ghost lady.
I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Yeah, you're gonna do a real great at that, man. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just wondering if, like, now that we have a little bit of information, we can try and get some more stuff out of her. You're a little... out of sorts. How do you feel? Lonely. Sometimes. The deacon made me lonely. Got into my head. Made everyone go away. The deacon? That's interesting. Why is that on the notepad? Cool, and yeah, no point raising the fact she's dead now because we don't have enough information to help her pass on. Uh, so let's try using your own name first. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego of Story and Song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Hmm. Tell us about Adrian. Why is he so shiny? How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away, but that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. I mean, I guess. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. Now I can check out the deacon. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Well, I'm not sure if I can get anything else here, but hopefully that's enough for me to... Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Okay, well let's go and check the name we got on the computer, perhaps. Perhaps we can find an address, maybe? Well, let's research Allie first. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about... Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Doesn't sound great, especially paired with the description of the deacon. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Oh, because Susan Lee as well. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go check that out. Bellevue Hospital it is then. That's concerning, but not surprising. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Oh, because the aunt was here and he's kind of like stuck to Blackwell ladies. Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. Maybe if we talk to Dr. Quentin? I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go well, right in. I don't in. know why, if it's someone who's not a police person or anything like that, or a detective. Come in. Dr. Quentin? 
Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Hmm. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh? Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Interesting. <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. Well, on that encouraging note, I suppose, from our wonderful new friend Joey, that might be it for today. So thanks again for visiting. I know we haven't covered a huge amount of ground, but we've learned a lot of stuff about this world and how the spirit world reacts. I'm going to do some more serious investigating in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.